Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review and swatch video on the Ofra liquid lipsticks. These liquid lipsticks have been getting a lot of hype here on YouTube, um, especially after Kathleen um, came out with her own liquid lipstick in the line called Miami Fever. Um, so I really like Kathleen Knight, so I decided to order some Ofra liquid lipsticks. If she really likes them, then I'm sure I'm gonna like them too because everything she has talked about that isn't geared to dry skin, I have really liked. So I ordered four liquid lipsticks and I used her coupon code to get 40% off. So they came out to about 11-ish dollars, like $11 and some change when they're normally $20. Right off the bat, these are not my favorite liquid lipsticks whatsoever. Um, I'm actually returning two <laughs> because I just don't, I hate them. Um, well, so far I'm returning one. I'm not sure I'm going to return the other one or the other one. So, yeah, I'll get into that when I talk about the liquid lipsticks itself. Um, yeah, these formulas are more on the hydrating side. They're not drying whatsoever. So, wow, speed racer. So, these take a lot longer to dry. It takes me about 30 minutes to an hour to fully dry down to like a matte liquid lipstick. Um, like the color pop one or the Kat Von D or Stila. They're really sticky as well. Like when they're not even like they're It's just the whole time they ha you have it on. They're really really sticky. So you can go like this I mean it won't move anywhere, but it's still Like that um these that stickiness reminds me of the LA Splash cosmetics, but LA Splash stays on it dries faster and it just it's more of a liquid lipstick. These crease and crack and just get into all the little fine lines on your lips because they don't dry automatically. So, oh my gosh, I hate that. That's one of my pet peeves about liquid lipsticks when they get into my little cracks and lines. That's a big, huge no-no for me. Also, if you have really cracked, dry lips, you definitely want to exfoliate before using this because this will grab onto everything on your lips and it will show like I had like I had just exfoliated and I guess I didn't exfoliate as much as I should have and I put on I think I put the I put this one on and I had like a skin as weird as it sounds I had like a skin that was just like about to come off but it was still attached to my lips and it grabbed onto it and I could just go like this to my skin and it was just really, really weird. So I'm not a huge fan of these. I prefer Kat Von D, even though Kat Von D is not my favorite either. I prefer Kat Von D over Ofra. I prefer Stila over Ofra. I prefer ColourPop over Ofra. I like my liquid lipsticks to be dry and I don't want them to move anywhere. This one really quickly goes out. These liquid lipsticks really quickly start to fade and just crack away in the inner portion of my lips and it's just not good. I, I purchased these with my best friend and she also hates them. We both got Rio and she got um, Surfer's Paradise and she absolutely hates them. She also got Miami Fever and that's the only one that she's keeping because she's returning the other two. And honestly for $11 I prefer getting LA Splash Cosmetics rather than Ofra. If you are into that hydrating liquid lipsticks, you don't want your liquid lipsticks to dry um, immediately. You want them to be like more of that... not comfortable because I don't feel like these are comfortable because I definitely feel my lipstick. With Colourpop, I don't feel my lipstick. With Kat Von D, I don't feel my lipstick. Stila, I do feel my lipstick a little bit. This one, I know I have lipstick on. Like you feel it. It is comfortable in the sense that it's not over drying for your lips. Like every other review, take my review with a grain of salt. Um, you might really like them or you might really hate them. It all depends. I know Kathleen really likes them. Hopefully she's being honest. But on me, I hate them. If you guys have tried these and you really like them and they don't crack on you and they dry really fast, please let me know what you're doing so I can start doing it too. I'm going to get into these swatches right now and the little reviews of each color that I got. Um, they come in this little black packaging box which is really really cute. It just says Ofra and then it says long lasting liquid lipstick and all the ingredients. 
I will add that these really are long lasting when they're not crackling. They really do last the whole day if you need to wear it the whole day. The formula on these are a moussey type of formula. It's not like wet. It's just really, really thick and moussey. Um, not too dry, not too... Like, I really like the formula of this. Like, the, the texture of the formula. They're really nice to work with. They're really easy to apply. You can actually get into all your little lines and make your lips look really, really pretty without a lip liner, without having to clean it up afterwards. So that I really, really enjoy. These just have a regular doe foot applicator. It's nothing too extraordinary. And then they just come in this little tiny tube. I really like the packaging on these liquid lipsticks. They're really travel friendly. They're, they don't spill anywhere. I like Their packaging is A+. Plus. But the actual liquid lipstick... It's like a D. <laughs> These don't smell like anything. Like, it does not have a scent whatsoever. At all. No scent. So the first liquid lipstick that I purchased is Rio. And I got this one because in Kathleen's video, she said that this was her favorite color. So I was like, shoot. If she really likes this one, I'm going to get it too. Um, I will also leave her video down below if you want to check it out. Um, Rio is like a... Corally peach bright nude. It's a really really bright nude. I wasn't expecting it to be this bright on me because on her it looks really really um it looks really really it looks really like natural and like a peachy nude. It looks really pretty on her. Whatever she's tried on, it looks just like that on me. So I was really like disappointed when this didn't look like that, like on her video. But anyways, this is the worst liquid lipstick I have ever tried. This color cracks on me if it just gets into all my little lines. It looks really chalky. It looks terrible on me and my best friend. Like, we both put this on. We're like, oh, it's such a pretty color. Not what I was expecting, but it's still a really pretty color. But then, like, literally two minutes later, I'm like, oh my god, take this off right now. It's so bad on my lips. I hate this. This is definitely going back as soon, like, on Monday, it's going back. I'm filming, I'm filming this video on Sunday, so Monday, I'm giving it to my best friend and we are shipping it off back to Ofra. I kind of regret getting this one. I wanted to get Pasadena so bad, but then I was like, Kathleen, this is Kathleen's favorite. So, yeah, so disappointed in this one. Alright, so the next liquid lipstick that I purchased is called Santa Anna. Santa Anna, yeah. And this is what I'm wearing right now. This goes on. This is the best formula out of all of the ones I bought. This goes on really, really nice, smooth. It's kind of drying, but it's not as drying as like Kat Von D or like as liquidy as Kat Von D. This color is like a burgundy berry color. It's perfect for fall, winter, summer. It's just a really beautiful color. This one doesn't really get into my line, so I really, really like that. If you'd want to try like a berry color, you should definitely try Santa Ana. And if you like non-drying liquid lipsticks, you'll really like this one. Next up is Miami Fever, which is the one that Kathleen created. I really like this one. The first time I put it on, I went to Whole Foods and immediately at the checkout, someone complimented on my lips. So I was like, I guess it's a really pretty color. <laughs> this is a beautiful burnt orange color. And even though I'm not a huge fan of the formula, I'm definitely keeping this one because I am still a big fan of Kathleen. And this color is really hard to come across. Like This is a color that you will not be able to dupe whatsoever. You might have to mix a few colors here and there to create this color. But this is a beautiful color. I think, hopefully, it's still on the website. But you guys should definitely pick Miami Fever up. This definitely does get in my little lines on my lips. But since it's a darker color, you can't really notice it. So that's not that bad and yeah this is just a really pretty color I actually I'm trying to find a nail polish that looks like this because I think it'll be beautiful on the nails so if you guys know of any burnt orange nail polishes please let me know in the comment section below this one dries a little bit quicker than the other ones for some reason in a good like 10-15 minutes I already have like that dry liquid lipstick formula which I prefer other than any other formula so yeah this one is one of the best ones that i have tried so far this one and the santa anna 
And the last liquid lipstick that I purchased is called Americano. And honestly, this one is just a dark version of Miami Fever. I am kind of thinking of returning this or keeping it. This is a like a brown red orange. It's a really dark burnt orange red. I think that's the best way I can describe it. Um, it's just like red brown. Brown red? Mm. Anyways, this is a really pretty color also. If you aren't able to get Miami Fever, this is your second best choice. But this is another one that I like, but I don't like as well. Even though it's a darker color, so it's not going to show up. Um, it's not going to show all my lines on my lips. This is a little bit patchy, so I really have to like work on my lips to make sure the color comes out really nice but it's still a really pretty color so yeah that's pretty much all i had to say about these liquid lipsticks they're not my favorite whatsoever but they do have beautiful colors the only thing i wish the um website had were like actual swatches of the liquid lipsticks because on the computer on the website you can't really tell what color the liquid lipsticks are they look kind of off so please let me know if you have tried these liquid lipsticks before and how your experience was with them and it's so weird that i don't like these liquid lipsticks because everyone here on youtube likes them like i was scrolling down her um comment section on her video with the swatches and everyone seems to really enjoy these so i'm just like did i get a bad batch or am i just like what is happening so yeah thank you guys so much for watching make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any more videos of mine and i will talk to you in my next one i love you guys so very much bye